What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and today I'm with the 435, but we're not actually working on the 435. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Today we're going to be working on the E36 M3. You guys can look at it. Obviously, it's it's a piece of work. And uh, your, your, mo your man forgot the keys. So uh, uh, they, they had to move it through a very janky maneuver. Luckily, there's no alarm system because that would have been all bad. Anywho, so I'm going to have to get these off uh, the little dollies. Shout out to John. You, I'll look. God damn it. And then what we're going to be doing today is going to be pretty much a full teardown of the E36 M3. I'm basically starting to take apart the front bumper, the, the pretty much anything that I can remove, even like the side mirrors, all the little pieces, probably even try to figure out how to put down the convertible top, even though it's not working, it has no motors, but I'm gonna try to figure out a manual way of putting it down. So we can go ahead and wrap everything on the car. So real quick, I'm gonna show you guys the parts that we're gonna be sanding down, and then I'm gonna, and we start taking apart the car. So before we actually start wrapping, the first thing I'm gonna sand down is obviously the hood. The hood has just been repainted. It was first originally like this blue color. It's kind of weird, like a green, honestly, I think. And then it was painted white. And then on top of the white, it was Plasti Dip. So it, it's just all bad. For the bumper, the bumper has seen better days. It looks like I'm probably gonna have to sand down the entire bumper, which is unfortunate. The grills, I'm gonna end up sanding them down and painting them black. The headlights, we're gonna have to sand them off and I'm probably gonna add some halos. We already got upgraded turn signals, upgraded side markers, but this fender also right here, we're gonna have to remove all this. Either using some Goo Gone or if that doesn't come off, we're gonna have to lightly sand that because this fender is really good. I don't wanna mess up the paint on it if I don't have to. Same applies to the rest of the car. It's a pretty good shape in terms of paint. It just needs probably a good detail. The bumper as well in the rear does have a few little nicks and scratches. So just use a little quick little sand right there. Nothing too crazy. Um, and yeah, the rear as well. And then as for the rest of the car, we're gonna just start taking it apart. We're also gonna try to restore this and we're gonna try to put down this entire convertible top. So at the same time, this piece can come up. I think this piece comes up and then we can actually tuck in right here We have a better tuck in surface because I'm trying to make this wrap drop as good as possible I just noticed it has some new gaskets and that's really nice It's really good taken care of like this car was honestly considering there's like a few blemishes in here and there I mean it's in the most part like really good shape like the gaskets the engine was rebuilt The interior is in actually really good shape like other than that centerpiece there and the seats that were here right now The interior is looking really good. The steering wheel is something I do want to swap out, but anyway guys let's go ahead i'm gonna set you guys up we're gonna have to do a full tear down i'm actually gonna start i'm actually gonna do a few little mini diys on my second channel so without further ado, let me sit y'all down do a full tear down of the e36 m3 so we can get it wrapped up uh let me know what kind of wrap colors you guys want down below <laughs> Guys, my luck with working with cars. What are the odds of this? So basically, I just want to open the trunk so I can remove these tail lights. Check this out. I don't know if you guys can hear the mechanism. It's legit broken. So the only way to access it from a convertible, you have to get like an extension like this damn long. Well, let's see if I can do it. All right guys, this looks like it's gonna be the game plan. Hopefully, this long ass thing can get me the two bolts to get the trunk open. All right guys, so I basically ended up using two pry bars. I, I didn't wanna do this, I didn't wanna do it, but I think, I think we got it now. I, get the, I guess at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and take apart the trunk so we can figure out what's going on with the hood latch. Guys, look at this, finally. Look how much, look how much jankiness had to happen. Look at this, so. Locked, right? Go ahead and put this in there. Turn the key. There we go, perfect. So, trunk is officially working. I didn't have to spend any money to fix that. Thank the Lord. So back to the, what I was trying to do is remove those two tail lights. Now that we have the two tail lights out, let's go ahead and remove the rear bumper. The rear bumper is a little bit more of a pain, but I think we can do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Just like that guys, we have a fully tracked out E36 M3. That looks dope. <laughs> Honestly, love it. I think this is probably the best rear end I've ever seen. It, does, it looks super flat. 
Not a whole bunch of things going on. Probably want to do a muffled delete pretty soon. But yeah, guys, here's the bumper. We're just going to do a little bit of cosmetic work on the bumper before we actually go ahead and wrap it. But um, finally got the bumper off, tail lights off. Got the trunk open. That's a pretty good, good progress on the rear here. All right, guys, so we got pretty much the whole rear end taken apart. We're gonna go ahead and start removing a few other things on the trunk itself. So go ahead and remove the logo, this logo right here, the trunk light, and the plates. And then we pretty much have everything off the trunk. And let's go ahead and actually remove this guy as well. Is this easy? Oh, yes, it is. So uh, that's actually so nice. It doesn't have the rubber grommet. Let me show you guys something. It doesn't have this thing around it, which means I can actually wrap it very easily. And then go ahead and put that rubber grommet that sits above. You guys can see the original marks from where it was. So that's nice. Go ahead. So that's, I'm probably not even gonna reuse that one. I'm gonna get a small one, one of those little guys. Anywho, uh, let's go ahead and take this back apart again. I forgot we have pretty much all this stuff to remove, so uh, let's get to it. That guys is the brake light right here. That is this thing like why does it look so sophisticated? Damn, that's crazy. So at this point, we just have to remove this logo and the M logo. I'm gonna go ahead and order a new badge as well. I want a black badge so it looks super sick with the new wrap. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the two emblems off. I hope it's pretty easy. That looks aftermarket, so I think it's gonna be pretty easy. We'll see. Go ahead and take off the front bumper too. I think I think we should just start doing the whole car today. Guys, that was the easiest bumper removal I've ever done. Few plastic pieces, two screws, two screws. That's it. Damn, that was that's honestly so sick. So I just looked up a video how to remove the side skirts and apparently on uh, pretty much the, uh, on E36s, these are held down by a lot of like sticky stuff. Uh, so I don't know if I really wanna take it off and have to reseal it with sticky stuff. So I don't really wanna deal with that. So I think the last thing I'm gonna go ahead and remove is the side mirrors. So hopefully that's a pretty easy process. Guys, look how much things we're, I have to step back. Look how much things we got off in a matter of like four hours. So we got pretty much all the trim pieces, the rear bumper, the front bumper, the side mirrors, the headlights, all this engine bay stuff, uh, all the wheel guard stuff, tail lights, and a few other miscellaneous things, a little, you know, things from pieces of the trunk, things, pieces of the, uh, the side skirts, all that stuff, all that stuff's on the counter. Just to show you guys all these little guys. So yeah, guys, the E36 is pretty much ready for wrap. All I want to do now is go ahead and get this top down. My hands are super dirty. I want to get this top down so we can go ahead and uh, basically pull this guy upwards and wrap underneath it and also give us a little bit better clearance right here because I want the wrap top to come out really good. Another thing also to probably do uh, in the next video is just go ahead and remove this door handle. It shouldn't be too hard because honestly, guys, everything on this car was so easy to take apart. The front bumper, four screws. The headlights, four screws. The side mirrors, three screws. All these plastic trimming, tabs. The rear bumper, like eight screws. And everything off this trunk was easy to access. Like the locking mechanism, the brake light, these little tail light things. Everything was just so easy. Honestly, just wish that they always done this even with the newer cars. Obviously, this is an older car. I just wish they could keep the cars as simple as this one. This is a well-rounded, beautiful car and I just cannot wait. The SEC pretty much as paint. This is all just dirt. We'll clean it up in the next video. Paint wise is almost like immaculate other than like the hood bumpers need to be pretty much redone So just the hood and bumpers and everything else for the rest of the car is in pretty good shape So for a clean title, it's, it's it's holding up its name pretty well I'm gonna go ahead and take a thumbnail real quick, but I think that pretty much concludes it for today I think in the next video We're gonna go ahead and pretty much start taking apart a little like a few more things like the door handles Put down the top and then pretty much start wrapping the car which is gonna be insane So you guys let me know what wrap you guys want to see so I'm going to place an order like one night shipping We'll go ahead and get that done. If you guys are excited to see this m3 wrap make sure to smash like I'm trying to make a lot of progress in each video from here on out I don't want to make you know 
I'll just remove a bumper. But while I was filming today, you guys probably noticed that I was holding up my phone and recording as well. That's because I was also recording for my second channel. So if you guys are also wondering how to remove all this stuff and are just curious, check out my second channel, link down below. It's a bunch of DIY videos. I'm uploading every single day on that channel. It's like a one minute DIY quick and easy DIY videos just for those of you guys who are wondering how to fix your cars for those of you guys who are wondering how to replace parts I'm basically making this channel to help you guys out because that's what this channel that's where this channel started from so I kind of want to keep that going with the hashtag save a BMW channel so at least you guys who have BMWs will know how to fix it know how to replace things and at the same time on this channel we'll go ahead and continue the build and continue the legacy <laughs> but without further ado guys if you guys are liking where this channel is going if you guys are liking the videos make sure to smash that like button without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands but <laughs> Remember to stay humble, guys. I love y'all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.